All right. This is Deaf Ears number two. Ignea, Dreams of Lands Unseen. All right. Shift gears for this one, guys. Uh, this is a really different, and I, believe me, I love a blendy blend of mixy mix, but this is a blendy blend mixy mix. I had no idea existed. Yeah. This is a symphonic metal band. Um, this is actually the second Ukraine band to charm their way into my playlist this year. Death Pill was the Remember first. Remember Death Pill? Yeah, that was yeah. great too. Yeah, yeah they, they put up some Ukraine great, band. Yeah. great stuff on social media. Really yeah. silly stuff. Um, over the course of the 45 minutes, this charming five-piece unfurls truckloads of sulky riffs, classical gas, folk-inspired sags, and counter-melodies, and the incredible vocal range of singer Hel Bondanova, who proceeds to lullaby us one minute with beautiful, clean vocals, and then bludgeon us on the next with sinister barks in both English and her native language. You know, expect the unexpected with this one. It's an ambitious concept album, and it revolves around the travels of Ukrainian documentarian Sofia y- Yablonsky. Um, the album is a pastiche of textures and styles presented with a cinematic sort of flair. Now, you did a little research on Sofia, didn't you? Yeah, Yablonska. she was actually, um, I, I was so intrigued by this, I had to find out more about her. She right. was born May 15th uh, in uh, 1907, which was not a great uh, time to be a woman um, if you were ambitious, which she was. She immigrated to Paris. She became a journalist, which was unheard of for a woman in that time frame and began traveling the world. Um, she used these experiences to write three books. She wrote about Morocco and China and everyone that she came in contact to, she would introduce to her own Ukrainian culture. Um, so all this was extremely ambitious, if not extremely dangerous for a woman to embark upon in this time. Uh, tragically enough, she died in a car accident February 4th, 1971. She was en route to Paris to deliver the last manuscript of her final works uh two weights two measures um so she didn't let microsoft word bully her she did not fuck you bill gates um so anyway but getting back to the album really interesting um so i can understand the inspiration for this great yeah yeah i mean this is the type of this is the type of band that makes you think a little bit um cuts like camera obscura and far horizon flirt with industrial rhythms keys twinkling behind her vocal theatrics Nomad's Luck, um, yeah, Nomad's Luck roars to life with Zep style Eastern melodies that morph into steely riffing, alternating pop hooks and headbanging energy. Dunes, the song we're going to play for you now, may be the heaviest cut on offer. Symphonic hooks dancing with crunching guitars and breathtaking nature poetry from Bodnova. Sacred chants of the rivers, rainfall in the twilight, chilly shadows of pine trees calling. This band moves from near-death metal crush to airy travel percussion in the blink of an eye. Catchy, high art, very smart. And they have their own coffee. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, they have their own coffee. And if you buy the mug, it's 20% off the coffee. You can get a cup of... All about the merch. You, you can get a cup of Ignea to start your day. I like it. <laughs> and the fact that they're from the Ukraine makes it all the more impressive. And then you consider the depth of the subject matter. This is an amazing band, and we're going to play the song for you now called Dunes. This is the Snaggletooth Rock and Roll Podcast. Mm-hmm. 